Music legend John Lydon has opened up about his wife Nora Forster's death last year admitting that he has found it difficult to grieve as he doesn't know how. The chart-topping star was married to the German publishing heiress for 44 years before she sadly died after a battle with Alzheimer's. It's been really hard to know how to deal with grief, he confessed in an exclusive chat with Express.co.uk. And I was very, very wary that if I rushed myself out it'd be wallowing in tragedy and it'd become a self-pitying clown. I think now, because I'm living alone, I'm coming to grips with it quite well. And so that sense of salty fun is coming back. And I can hear Nora and John, Rambo, his manager who also died last year, in my head going, get up you lazy bee asterisk, 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 asterisk. That was both of them. Their favorite phrase for me. Nora's version of it was of course with a German accent. So yeah, I now have to do that. Alone. I'm quite happy about it. I have started writing songs and they're not miserable, or self-indulgent. So I'm grasping the bigger picture that I have to share this world with a hell of a lot more people, he ruminates. Nora died in April last year at the age of 80. The Sex Pistols legend became her primary carer after she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2018. During her illness he became something of an advocate for carers and those with the illness. Particular early during the pandemic when lockdown restriction affected patient car. He becomes visibly emotional recalling those days. Lockdown was a great worry for me because it drove my poor lovely wife, Nora insane first not being allowed visitors and then when they came they'd all be covered in masks and the whole thing freaked her out. I mean Alzheimer's is a bad condition to see complete strangers just constantly harassing her with, are you alright dear? These seem like regular conversations but you learn very quickly that people don't know how to converse without asking questions. She didn't want to answer ridiculous nurses. It was just about all she could do to cope with the thoughts she had and express them but people shut that down with baby talk. And so I found that I was somewhat of an ambassador for Alzheimer's because to protect her from this. I learned so much I learned so much about people and the way we behave with each other. While his intention at the beginning may have been to support his wife, John quickly became an outspoken champion for those who didn't have a voice. The public reaction to his efforts was hugely supportive despite his years of being adored by thousands of fans he describes it as overwhelming.